Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing some uh, furniture flip or trash to treasure makeover. This was actually a trash item. My friend was putting it out on the curb. She had enough of it. <laughs> so I picked it up because I knew I could make it look fabulous. So I'm going to clean it up and then I'm going to actually use Beyond Paint. I'll show you the paint. It is all-in-one bonds, primes, and seals. Uh, no stripping, no sanding, and no priming required. I use this paint to redo my bathroom cupboards. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up in the eye in the sky if you want to check that out. And they have held up, so I've done it a year and a half ago and it's still looking pretty good like there's no scratches or anything and my dog sleeps in our ensuite and he's 150 pounds and there are no scratches or dings on it at all so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going there are a couple hooks I don't know if you can see there's some there and on the bottom and over there I'm going to take all those off I'm also going to take the little knob and the locking thing off as well so that way I can just go ahead and paint it I will clean it first and I'm also going to need to clean the uh, little couple windows because there's uh, some sticky stuff on them but I can do that once everything's done as well because I will be taping it up so might as well do that at the end so then I'm not doing same thing over and over so without further ado let's get started oh and before I go if you enjoy these type of videos make sure you hit the thumbs up and also let me down know down in the comments that you enjoy these type of videos so now we're gonna get started so first things first I'm just I took on my little razor and just trying to peel off some of the tape that was on the glass but it did not work out so I will have to use my um, rubbing alcohol and then I went ahead and removed the little hooks that were all all over it I was originally going to save them and reuse them but then I thought if I'm going to be uh, selling this item uh, I want to give the people or whoever buys it an option to either stand it up or hang it up you can uh, there are it's set up so you can hang uh, like um, so you can hang, but you can, uh, if the hooks are on the bottom, that's the only way you can do it. But I thought maybe somebody would want to stand it up instead of hanging and then it will look silly with the hooks on there. So once all the hooks were off, I went ahead and taped up the whole, um, all of the, the little windows just so I don't get them all messed up with the paint. I love uh, doing these type of projects because they are simple, uh, but they have such a great impact on the piece. Taking something out of the garbage and upcycling it and making it look beautiful and reusable is something that I enjoy doing quite a bit. Someone did you wrong I can see it in your eyes It's like your fire is gone Across your face It is written across your face If you want to talk I'm right here not gonna leave your side Just feel free to open up When the moment's right Across your face It is written So once all the everything was taped up I moved on to painting and I'm just using a bristle brush from a dollar store uh, to apply the paint and this went on so smoothly I was so pleasantly surprised how well the, the this paint covered uh, the co paint coverage was and how smoothly the paint went on I was going for that uh, rustic antique look so I was g giving this a good amount of paint but then brushing it over and over to uh, 
kind of re reveal some of that paint underneath it a little bit the stain underneath it so it's not a full co solid coverage you can do this any way you want to you can paint it and distress it or just paint it uh, you probably would need about two coats if you're using this paint if you wanted a solid coverage um, I would assume even with a chalk paint you would need two coats of this but um yeah, so this is just what I'm doing. You can do this any way you want. Uh, you know, full code, half code, antiquing, whatever you want. And immediately after I was done painting, I do remove the tape so that way there is no pulling. And then once the whole all the tape was off, I took that rubbing alcohol and went and took all the sticky stuff off as well as some of the if there was any paint that was on there um, by accident, I did clean that up as well. If you want to go out, we can go out. You can hide away just for one night. But if you want to cry, just let it out. If you've been following along for a while, you know that most of my furniture has been upcycled. Um, either I had bought a used item, thrifted it, got it from somebody's curb or uh, got it off of friends and I redid them and used them in my house or sometimes if I want a new piece of furniture I will just upcycle existing stuff so that way I can um, reuse it for a little longer. I have a full playlist of uh, many items that I have done. I will link it in the description box as well as at the end of this video if you want to check it out. I'm by your side now Make sure you paint all the sides um, because I did not paint the back because I figured that was going to be against the wall. But all the other sides, uh, make sure they're painted because if it's hanging, all of them are going to be showing. So you want all the sides painted. Uh, if you do not have a rubbing alcohol, you can also use nail polish remover uh, and even uh, cleaners like Google Gone. So here it is. I think it turned out so nice, rustic. I think it's a great piece to use in your farmhouse decor. If you have a modern farmhouse or really it, it would go with any decor because it is white and, um, and the pictures you can go with black and white mixture or colored photos. You can put stuff in the middle, um, just some like this is us or established at so and so year like possibilities are endless and pinterest is a great source to get ideas how to fill this up well i want to thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not and those of you returning thank you so much for your continuing support so until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you all in my next video thanks for watching bye